glory through the Lamb. Glory to the Lamb. Everybody say glory through the Lamb. Glory through the Lamb. Glory through the Lamb. Glory through the Lamb. Hello there, and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from Ephesians 2 verse 13. And it says, But now, in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off, have been brought near by the blood of Jesus. I repeat, but now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Jesus. Now, I want to divide the scripture into two parts. The first part says, but now in Christ Jesus, you who were far off. Now, who was Apostle Paul referring to? Apostle Paul was referring to the Ephesians and says now you who were far off you who were those that were far off the Ephesians were far off because they had not received Christ they were far off because they were sinners they were far off because they had a different covenant they were far off because they um, lived after the dictates of their flesh they were far off because they followed after idols they were far off because they were not children of god they were far off because they lived after the old covenant then he said but now in christ jesus you who were far off that is far away from christ jesus he said but now you are in christ jesus you who were far off so you were far off because you were not in Christ Jesus, but now you are in Christ Jesus. You who were far off. So once you were far off because you followed after the plan and the dis- dictates of the other side, but now you are in Christ Jesus and now you're following after the plan and the dictates of the person of Jesus Christ. Then the second bit says, have been brought near by the blood so there was a reason why you were brought near there was a price to be paid and that price was the blood of jesus christ so the blood of jesus christ being having been sacrificed on calvary was what brought us near and what brought them near to jesus christ and that what, what was what made them in christ and that also bought them from slavery bought them from bondage, bought them from from any jinx, bought them from curses, bought them over from covenants, bought them over from anything that held them spellbound. So he said, but now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Jesus. So the blood of Jesus was the ultimate blood that was shed on Calvary. The blood, the spilling of the blood of Jesus brought about many things, brought about redemption, brought about restitution, brought about salvation, brought about our followership of the person of God, brought about the joy and the goodness of the kingdom of God brought about the rewards of God. So the the blood of Jesus that was shed on Calvary brought about so many things, the gift of righteousness, all our spiritual gift, which we are meant to use to exercise worship, which we are meant to use to exercise our followership with God. So the blood of Jesus did so many things. The blood of Jesus also was used as a symbol of forgiveness of mankind from their sins for the cleansing of iniquity for placing us on a pedestal of priesthood a pedestal of kings in Christ Jesus the blood of Jesus was precious the blood of Jesus is a blood that is beyond comprehension because of 
the price, because of the value, because of the things it did for mankind, of which we ought to activate through our choice to follow after the person of Jesus Christ, after the person of God, ultimately. Now, I want to pray that God is able to expand our minds more on this word, that God is able to give us more revelation on knowledge, that we may be able to walk in it and run with it, that we may be able to have a deeper understanding of what the, sim the symbolism of the blood of Jesus, that we may have a deeper understanding of the price that Christ paid on Calvary and which will help our better walk with him, which will help our better stands and our better standing as a child of God, which will help us realize ourselves and our authority as the child of God. All these are asked through Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank you so much for listening and God bless, God bless, God bless. Now for comments and and, and for more questions, you could email me on the tube ministry at gmail.com. That is the tube ministry at gmail.com. I thank you so much for listening and God bless.